I've never, I haven't seen these questions, first off. Yeah. Brandon, i love to know how you got into acting. What inspired you to start acting? Oh, oof. Good, strong first <laughs> question. And like once the acting bug hits you, anybody watching this who is an actor, you know this. Once it hits you and it's got a hold of you, it doesn't let go. You can pull things from, say, COVID, right? Right. Or the things that we're going through, financial troubles, whatever it may be, we can pull from that and something is something is on the other side of it. There is something good. It might be, that shit was wild. Can I say shit? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but out of that depression that I was going through at the time, I just, I said, how, I was wondering how can I shake this off? Uh, another guy playing a trainer, he was talking to somebody and then he looked up and saw me and he was like, oh hell. <laughs> what David Goggins talks about, yeah. I had already taken his soul yourself what your why is and it has to be strong enough that it gets you back. Hello, I'm Debs. Welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to have you here and my son is here with me so I'm super excited. This will be my first interview so I'm a little nervous. Have you gotten your fitness on today? Comment, let me know. Hit me up with those comments because I want to hear from you. Make sure you subscribe and tap on that bell so you get the notifications. I'm just gonna jump right into it. My son is an LA based actor and he's like his fitness is so inspiring. It just inspires me. As I was eating, some questions came up. So. Can I just stop you for a second and yeah. tell you you're doing a great job? Aww. <laughs> you're doing a great Thank job. Thank you. Okay. We, we, so we did this. I'm going to let her finish. But we did this. Uh, how many years ago did we do this? We did this during a, We did this for Christmas like, like, yeah, like three years ago. Something like, like that. Like, yeah, 2018. After I started my channel in 2017. Yeah, like by October, the way. So. By the way. Thank you all for watching, by the way. Thank you for watching my mother's channel. Uh, so we did this like, uh, yeah, like three years ago. And um, yeah, so uh, like she said, I'm an, I'm an LA actor. Um, well, I'm an actor in general. Uh, I've been acting for, I've been LA, in LA for 12 years. And uh, we are living in this crazy time of COVID, right? So yeah. uh, we, uh, in LA, we went to state, we were in phase one. And uh, after that, uh, they like let us out for three weeks. And um, I was on a walk and got a notification that uh, LA went back to stage one, phase one after three weeks. And I decided to get on a plane the next day because uh, like we're gonna kind of get into, I'm a fit, as, as well as an actor, I, I, I love weightlifting and cardio and, and just staying fit. It kind of like fills my, like uh, my gratitude cup as well as keeps my mental strong. Yeah, definitely. Um, so when they said we were uh, going back to phase one, I jumped on a plane and it's been like that. It's been four weeks, like four weeks going on. We we're just starting the fifth week here that I've been here and uh, I thought there was going to be a lot of distraction uh, with food and friends and alcohol uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I was really really worried about that that was like my biggest concern that's why I uh, you know didn't come out for the during the first quarantine is because now I got to stay in LA I got to keep training I even I had like bought a tire like a 400 pound tire yes. and I had a, a whole bunch of uh, dumbbells and stuff like that so I made it through the first one but when the second one happened, I was like, no. So uh, I, I'm not gonna be able to do this a second time. I need a gym, I need actual weights. And, uh, and, and he, as you can see, I'm already perspiring. I, I've, um, <laughs> I've been in LA too long already, so yeah. I'm already perspiring. But, um, but yeah, so, so uh, that's, that's uh, a, little, a little about me. So I'm happy to be here. Thank you for having me, I'm so proud of you. You've been Aww. crushing it for so long, Thank staying you. consistent, which is gonna be one of the themes of of what what I talk about, I don't, I don't, I've never, I haven't seen these questions. First off, yeah, um, I didn't but, show them. But got to be a real interview. But I think I think already it's going to be a theme of consistency. I, I want to say so uh, with the same thing of, of fitness and what you're doing with this channel is being consistent and consistency over time leads to result as long as you right. stay disciplined. Definitely. So um, I'm I'm done. My ram my actor mouth is done. So please, okay, you can have some water. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hydrate. Take it, take it, mother. So, um, my son, like me, has been many different sizes throughout mm -hmm. our journey. So I just want to interview him, ask him some questions, what motivates him, what helps him, and also as an actor. So 
Brandon, I love to know how you got into acting. What inspired you to start acting? Oh, oof. Good, strong first <laughs> question. Boy. I think, you know, you can help people. That you know. When I get into acting. I, uh. What's your reason? So I didn't. I was working at a restaurant. This is, so, I, so I played football. I played um, high school and uh, college and, and like a, a, a night of semi-pro. And um, it, it, didn't, it didn't really necessarily work out for me. Um, so after, after that, I was, well, I was kind of playing semi-pro and, and, working at a, and working at a restaurant at the time. And uh, I had a, a friend of mine, we would chat on our lunch break and, and, and she asked me, one time she asked me, uh, what do you want to do with your life? And I was, I didn't know what to, t what to tell her, but I, I said, um, you know what I think would be cool is acting, but I don't even know how to get into it. And I always tell people, I became an actor because of Katrina. Like it took a natural disaster for me to get kicked in the ass. I can say ass? Yeah, I just okay. don't say that. All right. <laughs> no f bombs today. All right. You can say ass. <laughs> to get kicked in the ass and to and to pursue and to pursue what I've always wanted to do for a long time. I used to when we were young, I would uh, I would have friends and and I would have them sit on the couch. Uh, and my, I loved Face Off, the movie Face Off and I loved The yeah, Rock. I remember that. 90s remember action, that. baby. Yeah. Uh, so I would like have my friends like sit on the couch while I would do the scenes from like Face Off. Uh, they wouldn't play any. I'd play both John Travolta <laughs> and like Nick Cage. I'm like, woo, wait, you good looking? Not <laughs> like looking in the mirror, only not Troy. So I go back and forth, and they would just watch me do scenes. So I always wanted to act. I I, I loved it, but I I didn't think of it as a serious profession. And uh, and Katrina happened, and uh, football was over for me with with Katrina, and I wound up living in Pineville, Louisiana, and. Uh, I was working at a restaurant there, and a friend of mine was like, "Hey, John A. Bear, shout out John A. Bear." He was like, "Hey, man, uh, you're funny. Do you uh, you ever thought about acting?" And he was a theater guy, and uh, I said, "No." He said, "Well, there's this cold reading workshop. I didn't know what the hell a cold read was." He's like, "There's this cold reading workshop. Um, come to it." And uh, I went to this cold reading workshop uh, with a casting director from the Disney Channel, which they were only like scouting like children, you know, like ch like child talent throughout the country so I went, but I still went to this thing and had so much fun and like from there it just it hit me and like once the acting bug hits you anybody watching this who is an actor you know this once it hits you and it's got a hold of you it doesn't let go so through that workshop little small things happened I want to move into Baton Rouge and then started doing like local commercials started doing background work stand-in work just wanted to be on set and then from there uh, I went to film school. I went to New York Film Academy in Los Angeles. I got a loan to go there. Ooh, that's a loan. Uh, but but I, I took out a loan to go there. And um, and then, yeah, I moved to L.A. in 2008. And uh, went to film school. And I've been kind of just going through it ever since. So that's... So the whole theme of that, the long-winded answer to that... Uh, Katrina is the reason. A natural disaster is the reason why I'm an actor. So you can pull things from say COVID right? right or the things that we're going through financial troubles whatever it may be we can pull from that and something is something is on the other side of it there is something good it might be hard as hell to find it but there is something good on the other side of it so um, yeah that's how my acting journey started it's a beautiful message mm -hmm. I remember when you tried out and I think it was middle school and you didn't and you know they you didn't make it and look you're here you made it. <laughs> oh, so good. I love it you didn't give I up don't. just because somebody tells you no yeah. you don't listen that's it good. yeah yeah you're right you're right so what has your journey looked like I think you kind of answered that mm -hmm. so during this crazy time what is helping you to continue in your journey with uh, acting I know it's kind of everything is kind of shut down right now yeah so what's helping you just yeah. to keep going, to keep going with your fitness and believing in yourself and getting back up? Yeah, so, so I've been out of work since March. And uh, on top of that, I was one day away. I had booked a movie uh, called King Richard. 
about the story of Venus and Serena Williams. They're uh, two very world-renowned tennis players. Um, and Will Smith is to play the father, uh, Richard Williams. And um, I booked a small role in that movie, Warner Brothers movie, and the day before we shot, I was to shoot on a Monday, and on Sunday I got a call from production saying, uh, I'm sorry man, we, we shut down. So I started out on a really nice hot streak in the beginning of the year, and, uh, and, and this whole thing, yeah, just, just shut everything down. No work, no nothing, and it's slowly, coming back but uh, it has been a long six months but with that said my motivation through all of it through the acting portion of it the fitness portion of it I, I asked myself who do I want to be after this is over I could be 20 pounds overweight I could uh, be in the worst I could be in a deep depression I could I could have not done anything but feel sorry for myself uh, for these past six months, right? That's wow. that's option A. Or option B, I could be in the best shape I've ever been in. I could uh, keep working on auditioning. Uh, everything's done online now. I have a group of actors that I meet with on Tuesdays yep. that I started. And I TA an acting class on Thursdays. And uh, this is people from all over the country. Like my Tuesday class has someone from Canada, uh, somebody from Miami, uh, LA based actors. And then the, the Thursday class at TA has uh, people from Florida, I mean, just all over Sweden, all over the country. And um, yeah, so I asked myself, who, who do I want to be after this whole thing is over? And uh, because it's, gonna, it's going to end, at some point, we are going to get back to normal. We are going to get back to work, even though this thing has felt like forever, and it just keeps dragging on and dragging on and dragging on. At some point, we will get back to normal, and who are you going to be? Or how are you have going to have spent that six, seven, eight, nine, a year, whatever it is? Because at the end of the day, it's like that. I mean, it feel it does it doesn't feel like yesterday yeah, it was March. Oh my gosh! They yes. were just like, oh, there's this thing. It's a virus, and everybody's like, okay, whatever. Yeah. Right. yeah. And then here we are, six months later. Yeah. And but at the same time, it's gone like that. Yeah. So and 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 just as fast, we're gonna be, and and just as fast, we're gonna be a year after COVID. Oh, but remember, we're gonna say, yeah. remember COVID? Yeah. Man, that shit was wild. Can I say shit? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was wild. And uh and and uh you know so so that's that's the thing. I asked myself. I asked myself who who do I want to be? And 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 that, and another thing that came right during a time where I was feeling super down. Yeah. So that bad moment in, in, in that short depression state that I was going through, and look, not all days are wonderful. Some, you know, we're human. Some days are tough, some days are great. It, it you know, it, it happens. But out of that depression that I was going through at the time, I just, I said, how, I was wondering how can I shake this off? Okay. And, 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 and then I, that's when I asked myself, like, okay, stop. Stop. Stop crying about this. We're all going through it. It's going to end. Who do you want to be after this is over? And, uh, and, and that's kind of the theme of how it's been, you know, for me. You know, even like I'll be jogging around here, and it's a lot of talking to yourself. It's, if people yeah. think you're crazy. Like, if you're, to be a fly on the wall of me being, like, yelling at myself <laughs> and, 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 and stuff. Um, but it's, yeah, it's, 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 who do you want to be? And, and the person I want to be when this is all over is a working actor. And in order for me to be a working actor during these past six months, I've had to kept, keep training. And, uh, that's, that's training in my acting and training in my fitness, eating right, continue to eat right, put good, put good food in my body and, uh, and, and, and continue to put the work in every single day, every single day, same thing, same thing, same thing, whether it's in LA or whether it's in uh in, in new orleans it's just it's been the same thing because i know when this is all over with and, and acting is back and production is back and all the lovely tv shows that you like to watch are going to be filming i'm going to be hungry and i'm going to be ready to eat so yeah. i'm going to be ready to get back to work so another sorry these are all such long answers okay. um but but that's that's been the theme for me that's been the thing who do you want to be after this is over and i want to be better than i was before this started 
beautiful, beautiful, really great answers. Thank really you. coming Thank from you. your heart. I love that. Thank you. I apologize if this is, uh, video is shaky because I keep putting my foot on the table thing <laughs> underneath. So it's, it's a new camera trick. Don't yeah. worry about it. It's, you taught it's, me a new yeah, trick. Yeah, 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 so yeah, we're gonna yeah. see how this turns out. Okay, so talking about how you eat and all that stuff. So I'm serious. Watching your stories and just like you flipping this 400 down, uh, 400 pound tire mm -hmm. was so inspirational. Mm -hmm. So how do you stay motivated fitly, fitness and fitness? Okay. And also you do these incredible cheat day Sundays. It's like an all day delicious feast. What's today? Today Friday? is Friday. Two days, baby. Come on. So how, Hurry. how do you get back on track the very next day? I'm telling yeah. you every single time he gets back on track the very next day. What's your secret? Mm, that is, a, that's another tough question. Um, yeah, I look, I look, and, and I guess it's going to, I, I feel terrible because I feel like I answered it already, <laughs> but I'll go into like a little bit of a, of a, of a even lengthier answer, I guess about it is, so yes, so I eat the exact same thing Monday through Saturday, same exact thing, same exact time. And since I've been here, um, I've been jogging in the morning, uh, like late morning, because I like it really hot. Right. I like, I love the punishment. <laughs> um, like 10 or 11, I'll go jogging. And then uh, after we, like for instance, when we're done here, I'm gonna go lift. So it's the, it's the cardio, the fasted cardio in the morning and um and uh, lifting in the afternoon every single day and then the same food every single day i think it comes down to i know what's going to happen for me if i just stay disciplined like i'm staying with a friend of mine and i i'm cooking steak right and i cook steak on the on the grill on the uh, skillet and he's like dude I want you to just put that on the grill and I tell him man I'm not eating for flavor I'm eating just to I'm gonna put it in the skillet I'm gonna throw some Tony Satchery some seasoning on it and I'm gonna eat it and th and then I'm not worried about how amazing it tastes I know what it's 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 mostly eating for because it belongs in my body because it's good right. for my body um, I just I just make sure that I know to remind myself that the discipline is good the discipline is later on gonna lead to my success um, that is the like long term, like uh, reason for it. The short term is I I've gotten um, really. Uh, I like the the vanity of it. <laughs> I like to be out on a walk. I my I'm look here. I'm sorry. I'm, I'll say it. I like to be on a walk, and I like when when somebody's like driving past, and then you, they give you one of these. <laughs> love that. I love it. Be I love it because it just it's it is a. S small like instant gratification of my hard work yeah like the long term i know i'm gonna get back to i know i'm gonna need this body because i've done things i've worked on television shows i did a uh navy federal commercial that i played a uh, a national commercial that i played a boxing trainer in this little in this little 30 second commercial and i believe i only got a, a big reason why i got the job so i'm a good actor right but the yeah. but the reason i feel like i got the job is because of my body type yeah. that had a lot to do with it i didn't tell you this for the callback so you have a first audition in commercials and then you have a callback with the director and the and the ad and the uh ad agency and after after I, when i get the callback um i have like an under armor shirt on a really tight under armor shirt and uh i walk into the into the callback in the big uh not into the room itself but like in the waiting room and w another trainer uh, or another guy playing a trainer, he was talking to somebody, and then he looked up and saw me, and he was like, oh, hell. <laughs> I knew I had already, what David Goggins talks about, yeah. I had already taken his soul. Like, I had already, not what, I mean, he's my com he's my competition, but it's up to me to go do my job. Yeah. But had already left doubt in his mind that no matter how well he does, it doesn't matter because I walk in the room and I have the physical already. It makes him think, damn, I should have been eating a little bit better. I think I should have been working out a little bit more. So I don't want his feeling. The feeling that he was, the, the whole, oh, hell. That was yeah. all, that whole, oh, hell, those two words summed up what he's been doing outside of that audition. Because 
it, you know that that's a that's a big separating point of of getting certain jobs. Yeah. You know, so uh, so yeah, I just I stay on track because of my career, but but you know just it, whatever whatever your why is, my why is my career and being a successful actor. So you just have to ask yourself what your why is, and it has to be strong enough that it gets you back on Monday. That's the biggest thing. That's awesome. Monday is awesome. Monday is the toughest day yes. because when you wake up, your mind goes, "Hey, remember that food we had? <laughs> remember those donuts? <laughs> remember that pizza? <laughs> Let's get more of that. <laughs> Do it. Do it." And it it will not leave you alone. Sometimes it will not leave me alone until I go to sleep and the next day it goes away. So it's there. There is no getting away from the, the, the residual monster of sugar or carbohydrates or just bad food in general. There's no getting away from that, from that monster. It's just, it's mental warfare. And yes. mental yes. warfare is a real thing. And it's mental warfare that you have to, you have to win. What, whatever, however you go about doing it, you know, um, like I said, for me, it's the, it's, the, it's the going back to work and the long-term success. I feel like this is, if I were to sign an actor's contract of saying, this is the things you need to be do as a successful actor, I signed a contract that said, Brandon, you are to stay in shape and have the best body you can possibly have for as long as you are an actor. I mean, just like Dwayne Johnson, he's like in his yeah. 50s, right? And the guy, he cheats like crazy, but he has fun with it. But he, he says, okay, that's done. Now it's time to get back to work. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I just think that you have to have a strong why and just know that if you go have that cheat day, first you have to earn it. But when you earn it and have it, enjoy the moment of it, enjoy the day of it, because the next day you got to be prepared for the mental warfare of yes. it. And you just have to yes. fight and kick its ass. And, uh, and, 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 and that's it. And don't get me wrong, look, sometimes it wins. Please don't get it twisted like I am a, 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 a diet saint that on Sunday I have my cheat and on Monday I wake up and everything's fine and dandy and I'm gonna win the mental battle over sugar. Sometimes it gets me, sometimes. But for the most part, I kick its ass. So, but it's, but it's going back, it's about your, your why. And my why is I signed a, a, an invisible acting contract that says I am to stay a certain way to make money and to be successful in my industry. That's so beautiful. And he has uh, Instagram and he shares his cheat day uh, stories and they're just so funny. I'm going to have to post his, uh, his account on here so y'all can follow him and follow his Sunday cheat days. Yeah, I try to make like fun. Yeah. I try to make like fun little videos yeah. and like me dancing with key lime pie to dirty dancing, <laughs> uh, time of my life and yeah. like uh, doing doing silly silly stuff with dessert and uh, not, I mean not freaky stuff, just silly stuff, <laughs> yeah. silly stuff with <laughs> dessert. Um, but I try to have fun with it. Yeah, I try to have, I try to make it. I try to make it fun. Not always, but but not you know I'll kind of get inspired to do a, like a silly little video and I'll do that for for my hashtag cheat day or cheat night or whatever you want to call it. But uh, but yeah, so, but it's it's a part of the job. Staying on track is a part of the job. So, yeah, it's that relationship with food, that, and especially sugar. Yeah, so the videos make it. The stories it make it makes it fun. Yeah, and it's no, it's tough. It's tough. Like it's it is a serious. I mean, uh, a ton of Americans are obese because it is a drug. Like it is, it's a legal, a legal drug. You know that yeah. that that can 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 take over you if you're feeling a certain way. You know, it's some people cool. smoke cigarettes. Some people, you know, uh, smoke marijuana. I mean, there there are many different ways to to uh, make you feel certain ways. And and for I know for you and even yeah. for me, like Sugar. when I so I don't I don't smoke. I I don't drink much at all. Rarely drink. I don't do drugs. So my thing. Why well, do I? Uh, I get into a food drug yeah. sometimes. And, and and not only that, you know it's it's an addiction when you eat and you eat to like in it sometimes I would eat even on a cheat day. Even though it's fun, sometimes I'd eat until it hurts. Yeah. Because I know I'm not gonna do it tomorrow, I'm not gonna do it the whole week, 
So I'm like doing this thing where it's, you know, oh, yeah, more, yeah, more, yeah, more, yeah. more, 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 more. And it's never, yeah. it's not enough until you overdo it and you're like, you OD. Yeah. You OD, but you don't, you know, thankfully you don't die, you know, right? But but you OD on food. Yeah. On sugar. Yeah. And it puts you in this like state of like, you you ate for a certain reason because maybe you're feeling a certain way if, if you are eating for that. Only to come right back to enjoy, 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 and to come right back around at the end of it, if you overdo it, to feeling yeah. the same way you felt when you started. Yeah. So it's like this weird yeah. thing, cycle you put yourself through yeah. that all leads to nothing, you know? So that's why I try to have fun with it and just enjoy it for the one day because we're here now and then we're gone like that, right? I talked to you about that. Yeah. Like we're, we're here and then we're gone. So you have to, I don't want to be this like super disciplined guy my whole entire life. I want to enjoy certain you know fruits of life yeah um so but but i also don't want to i have to try to to try to separate it because it's a it's a never-ending cycle it's never enough sugar you're not like you're never i'm never like oh yeah that's enough for cheat day i'm always trying to squeeze it like what else can i have what else can i have until i maybe get a belly ache or something like that but but i make sure that when monday rolls around and, and to try to fight and say okay we're done until we're done until sunday so no it's a, it's a tough deal I, it's 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 very it's very, it's a very serious thing, you know. The the people's like addiction to food and sugar and and uh, you know all the all the yeah. bad food that's out there, you know. Yeah. Mhm. Mm Definitely relates. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you did, you just phenomenal that questions and you, the way you answered them, and I'm so proud of you for thank you everything. I can say for I getting can, back up for just yeah. for being you for not quitting just. You're very inspirational. Thank you. I can say I, I would I would be talking halfway through a question and I forget what the question was. That's okay. That's normal. <laughs> you know, but like I said, the central theme uh, uh, I think through the thing that I live by is 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 to try to be my recipe. If I was making a success cookie, you know, it would have discipline and consistency. Oh man, I've just I just. Uh, Denzel Washington hit my hit my brain just now because he has that video where he talks about uh, discipline and consistency, and that's one of the greatest actors to ever do it, and, yeah. and who's still doing it. But but you know you listen to su successful people because they yeah. know, and you thank God that they're sharing their secrets with you. So the recipe is just like Denzel Washington says: it's consistency, um, it's it's uh, it's discipline, and and it's hard work. You can't wait for motivation. You can't, because motivation is not always going to be there. And if you're waiting for if if you're waiting for motivation to strike you to go to the gym, or to go for a run, or to eat the right food, then you're going to be inconsistent yeah. through your entire journey. Definitely. Because I I went jogging this morning, and I did not. I didn't want to go jogging all week because as we're getting through this video here, I'm perspiring more and more just sitting here. So you can imagine me going out and jogging and thinking about that before I go jog being like oh my god I'm gonna sweat so much and I'm gonna be drenched and this and that but I signed a contract so maybe maybe it's a good idea for anyone out there watching to sign like a life contract that says so you need awesome. to eat the right things and do the right yes. things because of fill in the blank that's an awesome awesome tip awesome idea mm -hmm. And I want to thank everyone and thank my son mm -hmm. for doing this because I know he's super busy, super busy, very busy. So not right now. Uh, <laughs> well, he's usually very busy. Soon. <laughs> so I just want to thank y'all for joining us and get your fitness on. Stay strong. Keep going. Like, subscribe, Aww. thumbs up, hit the bell, do all the things that is good for YouTubers. <laughs> do it. 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 Thank you. Love y'all. Take one. Hi. <laughs> that, I, just I knew we were going to start like that. <laughs> Hi, I'm Debs. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing something totally different. I'm going to be interviewing my son. I'm so happy to have him here because he's been gone for so long. I'm messing up. No, what you doing? Just have fun. Okay. Take two. You got to use some of this in the bloops too. Take two. <laughs>